They are performing an ancient baptismal rite. This religious sect has a history going back more than 2,000 years. Mandaeans or Sabians as they are known in Iraq claim their ancestry goes all the way back to Adam. They dress in simple white robes for this ceremony. It's a biblical scene for their most important religious ceremony to honor the creation of the earth with a laurel symbolizing eternal life. The Mandaean religion predates Christianity and Islam, but they virtually are known outside of Iraq. They revere Noah and John the Baptist as prophets. Their prayers and religious texts are in Aramaic, the language of biblical times. Mandaean religious ceremonies have been held here on this spot along the banks of the Tigris for centuries, but now the Sabian community in Iraq is a dying one. Revered for their skills as gold and silversmiths, the Mandaeans have now been targeted by Islamic extremists. Criminals have kidnapped many for ransom. They're pacifists and have no militia to protect them. 60,000 once lived in Iraq. Now, there are fewer than 5,000 of them still living here. All Iraqis, whether they are Muslim, Christian, Yazidi or Mandaean, have shed so much blood in explosions and bombs. But lately, the focus has been on Mandaeans, and I don't know why. 80% of Iraq's Mandaeans have fled abroad and now are living in tiny communities across the world. Their religion is struggling to survive. Mandaeans do not accept converts, and many of their traditions are beginning to disappear. Some experts believe a Mandaean religion will become extinct in a few generations. But for now, a tiny number of them struggle to survive and pass on their beliefs here in Iraq. Steve Wendy, NBC News, Baghdad.